What's up everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm just going to talk to you guys real quick about Flux because I get this question all the time. There's certain other repair channels. They like to use an abundance of Flux. The truth is, is I, I use a larger diameter Flux core wire and if you're doing like new PCBs, it generally bonds pretty quickly and easily, especially if you clean the PCB before you start because sometimes there's a little bit of oily residue. I clean all my stuff with 99% isopropyl. That way there is nice and fresh and easy to adhere. When you get to chips and stuff, that's when flux is really going to be mandatory, especially when you get to like ports and where the pins are really close together. So guys, we have multiple different types of flux and you know, the biggest difference is we're going to have um, clean and no clean. There's even um, flux that you're going to see for plumbing. It works just the same and it's just an acid that gets in there and it clears off the surface layer and it allows the solder to bond correctly with the base metal and you can see i've got a couple different types that i use right here i've even got some acids like those ones acid flux see the biggest problem with using those ones is that you have to clean it with the alcohol when you're done if you were to leave it like this you can see i got a little bit of flux on this board if you were to leave it like that there's a very good chance that it would lead to corrosion further down the line so they do have more expensive no clean paste flux and that is preferable on some electronics. But, you know, just to be honest, I use this one right here, which is just regular standard acid flux. And I used to use this one right here, the Oatly. It's a lead-free, it says soldering paste, but it's really just solder paste flux that's used for plumbing. And, you know, it works just the same. You just got to make sure that you clean it correctly and make sure that you get a really good bond on the base metal. But there you have it, folks. There's different types of flux. I use all different types, just like you got different diameters of wire. Some wire is going to have more flux core than others. You got some of these that have, they're tiny, absolutely tiny. There's little to no flux in the core whatsoever. So you're going to have to use more flux before you start in your preparation. Now, like this wire right here, you can see it's a larger diameter. I love this wire. I use it for a lot of things and it has quite a bit of flux in the core and believe it or not, I often don't even need these. I get really good connections regardless. So there you have it, folks. Flux. It's not all magic, but uh, it is necessary.